Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and um, this is a video for Windows 8.1 users. It's finally here. The official Facebook app is available in the Microsoft Store. So if you're a Facebook user, great app to actually get and use. Uh, you go to the Microsoft Store. In the upper right of your screen, uh, click on the uh, search for apps box and just type Facebook and press enter. The official Facebook app is the one that is with the F Facebook F sign that is on the right side of the tile so be careful because there's a few uh, Facebook type apps that are being shown here so it's the one with the little F that is on the right side of the blue tile so you click on that it's a free app just install the tile and once it's installed it's going to ask you for your credentials your uh, username which is usually your um, email address and your password for Facebook and you'll have that blue Facebook tile if you don't see it, it's going to be in the app, so all you have to do is go on the bottom uh, left, click the little arrow, and search for Facebook and the apps uh, right there, and you'll see it there. You can right-click and pin it to the start screen by uh, clicking Pin to Start. Uh, it's a cool app. It's well-made. It gives you access to pretty much everything in Facebook. It's... Um, laid out okay I mean um, I look at the uh, different apps the way they um, the, the apps the way it's made the way it's actually changed you have your different options you can go to your timeline your news feed and uh, there you'll have um, the different options you have of course your um, private messages your friends on the upper right side um, on the left side you have the panel with your uh, name and also the different options of the newsfeed, um, private messages, the different events, your friends, the different f uh, pictures. So you can click photos and uh, look at pictures that you have in your account. So uh, this is a full, really a full app. Um, when you are on the news feed or on your own feed if you want and you want to refresh the different um, news line just swipe down on your screen you can swipe down on your screen and it's going to actually want to uh, refresh your um, your news feed if you want um, so you can swipe down um, on the screen if you want to um, refresh it's pretty automatic anyways so uh, you can right click also if you don't have a touch screen for example right click anywhere and on the bottom right you see the refresh button is there and it's gonna refresh by itself as you see it swipes down for you. it swipes down for you in the app itself so uh, the different uh, options at the top the status the photos if you have pictures and um, you can check in to use your uh, current location so um, you'll click the allow button and so you'll see all the different uh, social um, environment around you also at the same time uh, it will ask you if you want to have it uh, give you uh, notifications in the background if you like to know when people are actually interacting with your Facebook or um, interacting on Facebook itself putting status your friends may be updating their status um, if you put the uh, Facebook um, notifications on you'll see on the upper right you have these little um, messages you'll have these little pop-ups uh, in blue that are going to say your friends just updated a status or your friend just commented on something or maybe somebody commented on your photo of some sort or whatever so it really gives all the information the tile is a live tile so when you have friends interacting here at the bottom the tile the Facebook tile becomes an active tile with all sorts of information going through it and uh, of course if anyone wants to use the, the Facebook app on your computer you can just click the log out button at the bottom left and uh, click OK and you're going to be logged out of your Facebook account 
anybody else can log in and log out. So uh, if you have multiple Facebook users, for example, it's uh, easy to manage. Overall, it's a good Facebook app. It does give you access to a lot of options and all the options that aren't available, uh, what it does, it actually will pop up a Internet Explorer uh, page that will be snapped 50% on the screen where it's going to ask you to change the different options that the app itself cannot. For example, if you want to change your password, uh, well, you can actually click an option in Facebook where you'll have all that available or change different settings. But what it's going to do, it's going to actually snap an Internet Explorer page with your account where you can actually change these options. So uh, it gives you an idea that this app is not the full uh, it doesn't give you access to the full full Facebook experience at all, but it does give you the interface to uh, interact with your friends, uh, have all the notifications, events, and whatever. So it's kind of a user app. You use Facebook, you interact with it. Uh, the little drawback that I noticed is that sometimes it's kind of off and um, when you update it doesn't update all the time well. Uh, that's the little drawback that I've seen. I've been using this app for a week now, uh, since I have Windows 8.1 actually, because I installed it. Um, if you have Windows 8 and have not upgraded to 8.1, I believe this app is 8.1 only. So you have to upgrade to 8.1 before Facebook app actually is available in the store. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's a Win Windows 8.1 only app. So, um, like I said, the little drawback is the um, updates that aren't all the time in real time. A little annoyance about the notification also is the fact that um, when you turn on your computer, if uh, many people add comments or uh, different um, status posted, um, you might have for the first 30 seconds of turning on your computer like 15 different notifications of all the people that interacted with your account, with your Facebook account. So um, that's a little annoying. I mean, if I want to see at the startup what I missed, um, I'd rather go on the app. Um, it's okay though to update every time something somebody interacts with you know your um, your Facebook wall. So uh, it's not perfect. I think there's place for improvement, but it's still the official Facebook app now available. It's a touch, totally touch uh, centered interface. So if you have a tablet uh, like a, a Windows uh, a Surface Pro, for example, this is the great great app. It's all touch centered, it's easy to use, it's nice to use. Uh, feels like the iPhone app uh, at some point with the swipe down to update and stuff like that. It's pretty much uh, like it. Uh, I believe it's also available for Surface RT and will be uh, available for Windows Phone uh, on the new version of the Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, this is pretty much going to be the same app all across the board. If you enjoy our videos, our reviews, and our talks about um, Windows 8, 8.1, uh, subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you like our videos, give us thumbs up. It uh, gives us more views and more important um, present on Google when people search for Windows 8 uh, help. And uh, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> you enjoy our videos and uh, maybe you have comments, questions. Maybe a feature you'd like us to talk about or an app you'd like us to review. Uh, you can let us know and we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully uh, you will come back to the official 8.1, uh, Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.